range of Chicanto uh, in the Sierras de Cordoba mountain range. Um, the reason that we came down here is that we're interested in uh, the clouds that form here. So clouds form over the mountain range and grow and often initiate into thunderstorms. So we set up uh, over 50 instruments here, a number of different frequency radars, um, instruments that measure the solar radiation, the energy emitted by the Earth, basic meteorological measurements, precipitation, and we want to measure many cases so that we can figure out what environmental conditions impact important processes in those clouds. Cacti is es este sitio y un lugar de radio sondeo al, al, al norte y es un lugar estático. Eh, Relámpago tiene partes móviles, tiene los tres radares de Doppler Sound Wheels y eso hace que dependiendo de dónde esté la tormenta ellos pueden ir a, a buscarla y medir ahí. En cambio este es un sistema de medición de más persistencia de más largo plazo. Entonces mide como las tormentas que pasan cerca. El sitio este es uno de los más instrumentados del mundo. Entonces poder traer esto acá y analizar las tormentas de acá es alucinante. Va a estar bueno. The primary way that uh, the research that comes from the data we're collecting here will impact uh, the people of Argentina is that down, down the road we'll take our, our improved understanding of these storms and we'll take that and, and formulate better computer models and we use these computer models to predict what the weather is going to be, what the climate is going to be. In terms of climate, of course, uh, Argentina is a very agricultural country and so if we can better predict the climate in this region, we can better prepare for if we think there's going to be increased a uh, number of droughts or flooding or things like that that might affect the agriculture. And so Argentina can be better prepared for what they might face in the future and make, make decisions based on that.